in challenging times, there are two passions I have. Two passions that are directly enormous challenges for the world. One is how to create a healthy society. And the other is how to contribute to a circular economy. In this talk, I will focus on healthy society and particularly how can companies develop new ways of innovation to unleash the potential that is in companies, in the academic world, with people in villages or in cities, to make healthy society something real. And how do you do that? And for that, I will introduce the concept of ecosystems. My name is Annemieke Robeek. I'm professor for strategy and transformation management at Nijenrode Business University in the Netherlands, Europe. We are one of the private business schools where sustainability, innovation and new business practices are the core of the matter. Besides my work at Nyan Road as a professor, I'm an entrepreneur and I have more than 20 years experience in building up networks and also in building up and designing and conceptualizing ecosystems. And with that knowledge, and that experience of over more than two decades, I think I can give you some more flavor of what these new things are, what these new ways of organizing innovation is, but also why we need them for the challenges ahead. Until now, we see that many companies do their own thing with innovation. Everybody isolated, focusing on one tiny or one important part of the system. But if you take healthy society as a, a goal, a vision for society, then we also know that there is not one company that is able to do that. That you need collaboration, networking, networks of, of networks, and that is exactly what ecosystems do. Ecosystems are organized about, around a very big theme, a challenge, healthy society, for instance. And the other element of ecosystems is collaboration, joining forces, making connections between companies, organizations, NGOs, private, public organizations that perhaps normally do not interact that much. But because we know how to organize that together with Webers, and Webers are the ultimate connectors, the one who connect one part of the ecosystem with the other. For instance, the part around finance with the part about around technology and gadgets or the part around the medical life sciences together with the government or with the life insurance companies or the part with the food and nutrition together with the pharma industry. All those connections are made by Webers. Webers are the, are the ultimate connectors and co-designers of the ecosystem. And the Webers come from the company or companies that design and develop such an ecosystem. And then the question is, of course, why would a company do this? Why would you take the big risk of developing such a collaborative system? And how do you make profit out of that? Well, we think that particularly companies and organizations that can rely on a long-term vision and strong values that they are able to be trustworthy partners, to invite others to join the ecosystem and to work collaboratively with them on innovations. Innovations that can be of technological nature or that can be more of new products in, for instance, life insurance companies or new developments in pharma 
but particularly more in healthy food, in prevention, in sports, in making people or keeping me people mobile. All kind of new activities around individuals, consumers, not ill people. Consumers that are able or want to pay for this new kind of services or new kind of products. And in the world there are billions of people who would like to pay for that or at least would like to have access to that. But first it must be organized. And there again come the Webbers who organize that, who make the connections and who make possible that a tsunami of innovations come around the corner and even from very corners where you would not expect it, from serendipity and also from the obvious because also you can organize things around health and food and sports, fitness, technology, gadgets, um, around hospitals but also around local care. What is needed? where people have been asking for for a long time, but because of the lack of connections, was not able to produce or bring forward these innovations. Beside the tsunami of innovations that come out of that ecosystem, there is another hidden treasury. A hidden treasury that is not visible to first sight. But what is that? That is the big data that come out of all the corners, all the players, the ecosystem. And exactly there it's important to see that big data is transforming healthcare, but also all aspects of a healthy living. What is very important with big data is not so much that it will become available, but that there will be partners the creators of the ecosystem that work with these data in a very responsible way. And also there, it is important that you realize that if you set up an ecosystem and one of the hidden treasuries is the big data, that you do both in a very responsible way. The collaboration with all the partners, but also the transparency about how you work with the data and how these data can lead to new innovations. If you, if you want to get more hold of what kind of diseases or illnesses are up and coming in different parts of a country or a region of the world, then you need these data. And then you will also see that the patterns stemming from this big data give you information that diabetes is more apparent in one part and that, for instance, lung diseases is, part, is, is an important disease in another part. And so you can also schedule your prevention programs for these different parts. But you need big data to see the patterns and to work with these predictive analytics to cater for innovations or for new approaches so that a healthy living, a healthy society comes closer. And a good thing is that when companies take the lead in developing these ecosystems, and often they will do that in close collaboration also with the public agents or with the government, then you will see that not only a new spectrum of services will be brought forward, but also that the society will become much more healthier. And a healthy society is the best solid base for sustainable growth. And that is the other passion of me, the circular economy. But that's for another story. Thank you very much. <laughs>